Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne doing your uh, <clears throat> mid-October video for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Scorpio. This is for my lovely Scorpio Lammy Puffs. Um, let's see, this is to take place of my October 19th video. And um, let's just see what we get. Hopefully you guys are all having a good month. So, um, got an interesting bunch of cards here, Scorpio. The way I've been doing it for my last videos is to, um, just kind of pick out cards that kind of are calling my attention. So I'm going to start, um, oh, I see. Okay, so like, so this is where you are right now. This is temperance, okay? This is temperance. This is balance, finding a balance in life, you know? Some of you are either spending too much time in career and not enough on your home life or your romance life. It's usually like a dynamic between two things. It's usually like a split between two things so like part of you like maybe is is you know focusing only on the job and maybe part of you wants to focus more on your kids or maybe part of you wants to focus more on your family it's just <clears throat> it's just there's sort of a 50 50 split and it can be that right now you know you're um, sort of we're halfway well a little bit more than halfway through October so like the first part of the month for you is going to feel like very emotional and the second part of the month is going to feel very like energized so I feel like going forward you have a lot to look forward to as far as feeling more like energy more just like and it could just one day like you know maybe it happened a couple of days ago where you felt like boom like the light's gone on you feel like oh my gosh you have all this energy and that's because I feel like there's this split for you in the month, um, energetically. And what's, what's crossing you is the judgment card, which is a fresh start, starting over again. This is, you know, getting into music, getting into your life, doing things in a fresh way, um, getting into, take, taking the call of responsibility, um, Waking up in the morning and being excited to go to work, being excited to be alive, you know, it's that feeling, it's like, it's going to be hard for me to say this without getting emotional, but I feel like some of you have had to face death. Some of you have, to have had to face maybe a death in the family or death of someone who's close to you. And um, this has been really not not easy for you. This has been... The, one of the hardest things you've ever had to go through. And um, the loss, I feel your loss. I feel your pain. I feel your suffering. Um, but the thing is, this card comes on the heels of that, okay? So it's sort of like your loved ones who have passed away don't want you to go on in this sort of depression um, funk, you know, uh, emotional, just over emotional times. They, you know, they, they want you to move on from this. They want you to embrace life. That's what they want, you know? Um, and it, this is seriously, this is a card where it's like, it's, it, it can be the difference between night and day, seriously for you. Um, where you wake up in the morning and suddenly you feel different. You do. And that's getting over grief. You know, that's that's get that's moving on to to better things. This can also be like starting over in relationships too. You may have recently gone through a divorce or a separation, because this to me is divorce and separation. So you may have gone through that and then you're starting over. Like it could be all of the above. You you may have lost somebody recently. You may be going through a divorce as well. It's but you're embracing life. You're embracing life again and you're realizing there's more to life than death. And, you know, you're you're doing things for yourself again. And that's important. Um, the foundation card is the Queen of Swords. 
And the Queen of Swords is someone who, I call her Bridezilla. <laughs> someone who is like a Capricorn or Aquarius. Um, who's in your life. Um, you know, they could have been... It could be just somebody that's acting cold to you. It doesn't have to be necessarily Capricorn or Aquarius. I feel like for you, it might not actually be. I feel like it's just someone who's kind of cold. It's kind of treating you in a cold way. Um, they've hurt you. They've stuck the knife in and it's, they stuck the sword in when they didn't have to, you know. They could have approached things differently, you know. I feel like her approach to things sometimes is not the best. Um, you know, this is a woman who's bitter. This is a woman who's who's been hurt in some way, and so she kind of lashes out, and she doesn't like to be messed with. This is someone who, who just doesn't like to be messed with, and she'll go, she, she'll go for the jugular. She'll go for where it hurts. So, like, if you're going through a divorce with this woman, which I kind of feel like you are, this is a painful divorce. This is really painful. This is more painful than just, like, a regular, not to say a regular divorce, but this is not, like, amicable. This is, she's going for you. She's taking you to the cleaners. It's not fun. And it's, I'm actually holding the next card, which is the divorce card. So, yeah, I feel like really for sure, Scorpios, you're going through some kind of divorce. Those of you who are watching, I feel like what's happened is, is you're, 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 you're kind of dealing with the emotions that kind of go with this separation Part of it in separating your lives and like, you know, pulling apart your family and all this stuff. And then what's recently happened was weighing things, you know, weighing things. Should you get a divorce? Shouldn't you? And having that actual divorce conversation. Um, and you're the, the place that you're in right now is you're going to be lifting out, getting lifted out of hardship. And I feel like this is the angels lifting you up out of the hardship. But this is also going to be family members and your parents, people that are around you. Like, I feel like you have a lot of family members. Maybe you have a brother or a couple sisters um, that, that are really just there for you. And they're helping to lift you. I feel like one of your sisters really, really is trying to lift your spirits. And she may be thinking about, you know, sending you flowers. Maybe she already did send you flowers. You know, one of your sisters is like really close to you. That's my feeling. Um, and she just really loves you. You know, this is, this is emotional for me to see this. See you going through this. This is hard for me to see this. Um, and, um, you know, what's right around the corner is... is it, Someone in spirit, it's a male figure. I feel like you lost somebody who's male, okay, in your family. Um, it could be also a friend, somebody that you lost, someone that passed away recently. And, you know, they're in spirit and they're looking down on you and they're there. Um, they're there every step of the way of, of this journey for you. Um, and I feel like what's coming through is like they chose you have this experience with because they knew that you'd be able to get through it. They knew that you would be strong enough to get through it. Um, it's like, you know, our children choose the, you know, you basically your children choose your, you as a parent. And I feel like this, I feel like it was your son. I feel like it was a son that passed away. Um, but it could also have been someone close to you. It doesn't have to necessarily be that, but I feel like that, for some of you, that's who it was. Um, and this could also be someone like, it could have been your dad also. Your dad is just a, like a male figure in your family. But because I feel like, you know, the whole thing about just, you know, that person chose you to go through this because they knew. They knew that you were going to be able to, to handle this and move on from this and, and be okay. And emotionally, it's weird. It's like, you have a lot of emotions right now. And this is, this is actually like, I feel like you're thinking about money and finances right now. And there is a lot of money and finances. And I feel like this is you enjoying your single life like looking forward to being single wealth happiness and bliss i feel like you're going to be a lot happier being single 
um, and getting over this relationship, this woman who's been cold to you and is very heartful and it's just not good. And big money is coming in. So you got the wealth and you also got big money too. So financially, Scorpios, I mean, I'm not surprised. You know, Scorpios um, always have money in the bank. You know, Scorpios are just the masters at, uh, at, at having their finances just... The, the, you know, it's just everything flows. Everything flows naturally uh, for Scorpios with money and finances. Um, and then the the card that, that's your attitude is right now is you actually need to get some rest. You need to recover. You need to take some time off. You need to take a break. Um, you need to have some peace of mind. And if it's, you've already taken a vacation, some of you are going, well, I already just, I just took a vacation. Some of you just need to have some peace of mind and that you will have peace of mind um, after going through all of this. I feel like financially, you guys are going to be fine. Um, you know, I wouldn't worry. I, won't, I wouldn't start counting your pennies and returning stuff, okay? Um, I don't think you're going to have to worry about that, just so you know. Um, and the outcome is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is a psychic medium, someone who... I feel like you're going to meet this person. If you're if you're newly single after this divorce, I feel like this woman could come into your life. She's psychic. She's um, she's really long hair. She's beautiful. Um, sometimes I see her as being like from Brazil or like um, Latino, Mexican. You know, so maybe she has that vibe. Um, She could be Irish too. She's very fair skin, but very like long, like dark black hair. Um, and she's a deep person. She may be a Scorpio. So like you, she may actually, you may actually meet another Scorpio that is this beautiful, sexy woman. And she wants a deep relationship with you and a deep connection. And I feel like you didn't have that with this girl. You did not have this deep connection with this girl because this girl was, was so defensive or like on the ready to to be mistrustful that that she couldn't let anybody in and this this woman is like going to be dancing and singing her way into your heart and I feel like she's going to be really good for you now if you're a lady um you know this could be your soon to be partner um your next partner that you have um or it could be just it may not even be a person. It may just be that you're listening to more to your intuition. You're following your heart. Um, and you know, it's, you know, I think of Scorpio when I see this. So you could be a female Scorpio and you just be maybe doing some singing or dancing. You know, maybe this is your next career move. Or maybe, you know, you decided to do go full time with your artwork for some reason, or maybe you're psychic and you're like me and you wanted to start your own YouTube channel or something and, and you're doing something like I am, you know, um, one way or the other, this is a great place to end up. This is a great place to be because this is the deep Scorpio energy and you're Scorpio. So you're, I feel like the universe is really supporting you sort of towards the end of October. Um, you're starting over right now, this, the, right where you're at at this moment, you are starting over. And it's hard to start over and to rebuild, but I want you to know that um, the universe is really supporting you right now, financially really supportive for you. And you're and it's you're gonna have that peace of mind that you need. You're gonna have that non-worrying peace of mind. It's also good for you to, to spend time alone, to spend time just meditating, just being at peace with yourself. Um, those would be my suggestions for you. So anyways, I wish you all the best and um, big hugs, big kisses, my lovely Scorpios. And I'll be back for my November reading um, probably towards the very end of October, maybe even November 1st. Uh, but thank you so much for, you know, subscribing and liking and sharing all of my videos, you guys are awesome. If you want a private reading with me, feel free to email me at elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. All right, take care. Bye-bye.